Hey guys, how are you? This is Dr. Zappi from the Wellness Center, Chester County. We're gonna go over a really quick video on uh, how to get into really good posture at your desk. So the most recent studies on posture are not really about the perfect angles anymore, about like uh, where your shoulders need to be or where your hips need to be. We, we kind of know what the perfect angles are. And the problem is, is people are still having postural problems. So what the industry started studying is not necessarily what the perfect angle is or what the perfect desk is or your sit the stand desk or any of that kind of stuff. What the most recent study is, is how long is reasonable to expect someone to be able to sit like this. So they take a bunch of Olympic athletes. These are the most conditioned people in the world. And they have them sit in perfect posture with the perfect chair and the perfect desk and all that kind of stuff for as long as they can. And the most conditioned athletes in the world, Olympic athletes, can't hold their posture for more than 20 minutes. So no one is expecting you to hold your posture for more than 20 minutes. It's unreasonable to be able to expect you to do that. So the take home message is not necessarily what the perfect position is. It's that you need to keep moving around. If you're leaning to the right, lean to the left. If you're leaning forward, lean back. What I like to tell my patients to do is a neurological cue called perching, which I'm gonna show you real quick. So if you could take your spine and just chop it up into three different sections, I like to call them cog wheels. So this area of your body is one big cog wheel. This area of your body is another really huge cog wheel. And this area of your body is another cog wheel. Okay, which you can't really see too well in the video because the marker is kind of dull, but in any case, follow me there as far as cog wheels are concerned. When they're all lined straight up, you're in really good posture. As you turn one, you're gonna turn the other cogs in the cog wheel, and the farther you turn this cog wheel this way, the more your neck has to crane just to look forward, and you get all kinds of neck problems and headaches and everything else. Uh, this causes low back issues, and all the things that you normally know that are associated with bad posture come from these problems. As you sit there, you're just gonna drift. 20 minutes, you're gonna be in horrible posture. So this is a really cool technique called perching that I'm gonna show you real quick. And it's based off of these little tiny bones right here in your pelvis. These are called your ischial tuberosities. They are nicknamed the sits bones. I wonder why, okay? You're supposed to be sitting on them, not here, okay? So I'm gonna show you how to get onto them. First thing I want to show you is what it looks like when you're not on them. Most people sit in the middle of their chair and they have a nice big cushy plush chair. Stop sitting in those please, they're not helping you. Once you get in the middle of the chair on your nice cushy chair, in 20 minutes you're going to be sitting like this. Okay. So to prevent that from happening, put a little alarm on your phone, something like that. You want to get up nice and tall. Get all the way to the edge of your chair until those bones are sitting on the edge. That creates a neurological reflex and forces you to be in good posture. Okay, in 20 minutes you're gonna drift again, but this is a good technique just to kind of reset the button on your time, okay? Another really good technique is to get all the way back onto the chair. So when you're doing this, I would encourage you to do it with a towel. I'm gonna grab a towel real quick. Get your butt all the way back as far as you can and now you can't roll back and then if you grab a towel and just shove it down here as far as you can really far down on your tailbone okay exaggerating on purpose now i can't roll back so you can sit here for a little longer than 20 minutes because it's forcing you into good posture okay might be a little uncomfortable you're not gonna have a towel in the back like that for too long just because you get a towel on your back, so it might be a little uncomfortable, but those are two techniques that you can help at your desk. You can put it in your car, uh, at the home office, whatever you need to do, but those are some really good postural techniques. If you need something else, give us a call. Uh, check out our website, wcfcc.com. There's tons of videos on there, but we'll see you next time.